Pinkie Pie switched the video camera on and panned around the room. Is this thing on? Okay, hello viewer! We are here at Fluttershy's house. We're, uh, painting the baby's room. In case you didn't know, Fluttershy's kind of expecting a baby any day now. Oh, there she is! Right over there! Say hi to the camera, mommy! Fluttershy smiled and waved in her rocking chair. <laughs> okay, and here we have, uh, Dashy. What'd you mean, Dash? Painting this room while you're just running around with a video camera. Memories are important, Rainbow Dash. Who knows? I may capture the Loch Ness Monster on this thing. Whatever. She rolled a coat of paint onto the wall. They were painting it in a neutral color, white, due to not knowing the gender of the baby. Twilight levitated a brush and used it to make precise strokes where the edge of the doorframe was. Wait a minute, you guys! The smell of paint can be harmful to the baby. Pinky quickly pushed Fluttershy out of the door in her chair. Woo! That was close! But, uh, moving on. Daddy couldn't be in the picture today because he's off at work to make some money. But some pony's here who's been even more helpful. Applejack, say hey! Hi! So, we're painting and it's not really that interesting. But I have to keep filming for the sake of memories. Um, guys, you know, I do love that Fluttershy's baby is all prepared to go into this world. Um, excuse me, guys? More prepared than I was. Especially with my present. Sure, he might get asked to join the Wonder Bolt act. Guys! Gross, Fluttershy. You could have asked one of us to walk into the bathroom. No, guys. I, I think my water just broke. <gasps> go, go, go! They all ran with Fluttershy out of the college. Rarity slipped in a puddle of it, but since it was an emergency, she wiped it off and kept running. Pinky was just standing there with the camera. Water can't break. It's liquid. Maybe it can turn into ice first. No, Pinky. It means she's having the baby. Oh, all right. It's finally here. The hospital's got to be two miles away. Rainbow Dash, can you carry her? Can I carry her? I can lift her to 200. Oh. Ah, no fence floor shot. But you're really fat. Better go with that teleportation smell, Twilight. I can't. It's too risky. Some pony might lose a limb or we might lose the baby. No, please don't risk that. You know, I was born at home. Maybe we can- No, Applejack. I don't think Fluttershy could stand that much pain. Well, we've got to find some way. In that moment, Big Mac pulled up, hauling a carriage behind him. Huh, who would have thought? You gals need a lift? Yes, very much so. They all got in with her and they sped down the road. Big Mac was hauling as fast as the massive weight in the carriage allowed him to. Rainbow Dash tapped her hoof impatiently. Pick up the pace, farm boy! Never tried carrying five ponies and a pregnant one. It ain't easy. That's it, Lobo! She put on a spare harness and attached herself to the carriage. I'm no agony, but I do know that more force and less weight equals a mean green bean machine. We'll be- Just, Just go! go! They started down the road, a little faster this time around. Meanwhile, the others were comforting Fluttershy as she tried to hold it in the best she could. It's gonna be okay, Fluttershy. We're gonna get you to the hospital, and we're gonna have your baby. Ooh, I know! Maybe you think about something else, and you'll take your mind off having the baby! It works for me whenever I have a tummy ache! Pinky, I really don't think that will- Now hold on, Twilight. I think she's onto something. Okay, Fluttershy. Imagine the force. Fluttershy's breathing slowed a little as she closed her eyes and thought about it. The squirrels scampering across the dirt path, and the canopies in the trees letting the little beams of light shine down on your mane, illuminating the delicate features of your face and this natural world around you. Hmm, that does happen often. The others were quite impressed by Pinky's sudden way with words. And those squirrels will have babies of their own, and then they'll make new squirrels, and then they'll have babies too, and... Pinky, no! <sighs> She got to the front of the carriage and sat in the empty driver's seat. In a state of panic, she grabbed a riding whip and used it against Rainbow Dash. Hi Ow! What the hey, Pinky? Sorry! We need to go faster! How is whipping me, guys? Ow! My eye! My good eye! Oh, sorry, Rainbow Dash. I was aiming for your back! What the hey? I'm so sorry! I don't even know where this whip came from! Tears and blood were leaking out of Rainbow Dash's black eye. It's fine! Pinky, just let me drive, okay? Well? Yeah, we might have two ponies have to go to the hospital now. Ugh. 
Ugh. Hey, Fluttershy, you know what I'd do whether I was upset or in pain? What? I'd just sing this little song. It's quite fun, actually. And I still remember all the lyrics. Ahem. <clears throat> There's antimony, arsenic, aluminum, selenium, hydrogen, and oxygen, and nitrogen, and marinium, and nickel, neodymium, neutonium, germanium, and iron, and americium, neutonium, uranium. Every pony stared at her with blank expressions on their faces. Europium, zirconium, lutetium, vanadium, and lanthanum, and osmium, nestine, and radium, and golden proctotinium, and indium, and gallium, and iodine, and thorium, thulium, and thallium. Stop! Stop! <laughs> We're here! Twilight, Rarity, and Applejack helped Fluttershy get into the hospital. As they were crossing the threshold, she halted. Wait. She gestured, and her friends helped her over to Big Mac. Thank you so much. She kissed him lightly on the cheek, and light blush marks appeared under his solid red coat. They started towards the hospital door, but Pinky stayed behind to help Rainbow Dash. Don't worry, Dashy. We'll have this fixed up in no time. How, how, how does it look? It doesn't look too bad. <laughs> Rainbow Dash's eye was so bad that it can't even be described in one paragraph, so I'm gonna just use three words. Black, blue, and red. Uh, don't worry. I can fix this. With my handy dandy eye patch collection. She pulled out a box filled with nothing but eye patches. You collect eye patches? Yeah! I keep eye patches hidden all over Equestria in case of emergency. She took the eye patch and snapped it onto Rainbow Dash's black eye. I, I would suggest going to a real doctor after this, just to be on the safe side. Yeah, I gotta check him next week. Maybe I can squeeze that in. They walked into the hospital together and found their friends arguing with the nurse at the counter. What do you mean she don't have insurance? I mean she doesn't have insurance. That's crazy. Tell her Fluttershy, you got insurance, right? Well, actually, I don't. What? what? I tried filling out a form one time, but it was so confusing. For Celestia's sake, Fluttershy! Well, if you don't have insurance, then you're going to have to wait in line for the free clinic. The line to the free clinic stretched all the way out the back door of the hospital and into the alleyway. We ain't doing that. We'll pay for it ourselves first. How much is it? It's 43,000 bits. Applejack looked at the others and they all shrugged. Well, okay. Let's go, y'all. That's it. Wait, Wait Rarity! Rarity! Lose our place in line. They pursued after her and she presented her proof of insurance before the nurse. She can have my insurance. Wow, Rarity, can you even do that? As long as it gets paid for. Ah, uh, how much do you estimate the deductible to be? Well, with my experience, about 1,500 bits. Oh, I can't afford that. Then she can have my insurance. And mine. And mine. And mine. Pinky, you have insurance? Well, duh. With all the dangerous stuff I get into, it'd be crazy not to have insurance. Nurses wheeled Fluttershy into the hallway and into the ER. She only had time to mouth a small thank you before she disappeared down the hallway. Well, what now? Now we wait. They waited in the waiting room for what seemed like eternity, hoping and praying for their friend to get through this okay. Pinky, in her boredom, picked up a small plastic replica of an intestine and used it as a trumpet. A bellowing sound erupted through the hospital as she blew into it. Pinky, no! You have no idea where that's been! <sighs> I think I'm gonna call that rad discord. He should be here. She opened her phone and looked at the signal. Dang it! No bars! I have one bar. Well, you can just do everything, can't you? Twilight dialed Discord's number and waited for him to respond to her call. Thank you. Have a nice day. Make this quick, Twilight. I'm at work. Well, Discord, uh, you might have to leave. What? Why? It's kind of an emergency. You see, uh, I don't know how to break this to you so suddenly, but... Your wife's having your baby, you numb nuts! Rainbow? Discord tossed his work shirt off as he pedaled away. He maneuvered his way through the heavy rush hour traffic of Ponyville zipping through carriages and fruit stands to get to his destination. Before he could cross the train tracks, the infamous red and white bar stopped him, and he had to wait for the circus train to pass. One of the exhibits of that circus just happened to be the Equestria's longest train, measuring at 4.8 miles long. Discord banged his head against the handlebars repeatedly and screamed in frustration. Back at the hospital, Nurse Redheart stepped out and met with the ponies. Hey girls, how was your morning? Exhausting! Okay, okay. Um... Any one of you ladies want to come in and coach Fluttershy through birth? Since Daddy's not here and the baby's going to be here any minute. Not it! 
No. Not it. I can't stand the sight of blood. Rainbow looked around and saw that she was the only one who did not say not it. Oh, you guys are a bunch of pansies. I can do this. She stepped into the hallway with Nurse Redheart. Are you sure you can handle this, dear? Oh, yeah. Fluttershy and I go way back. Way back. So I can coach you through childbirth. That's very sweet of you. Um, would you mind putting these on first? She put on some scrubs that the nurse handed her and headed into Fluttershy's room. She was in her hospital bed, looking up at the TV on the far wall. A blur of multicolour distracted her view from the screen, and she smiled at her friend when she came and sat down beside her. Uh, hey! Hey. They watched the screen for a little while, then Fluttershy looked over and spotted her injury. Oh my, Rainbow Dash, what happened to your eye? It was this whole thing. It's not important. You think I look cool with this eye patch? Very. Thanks. So, your contractions are gone? Yes, for now. At that point, Nurse Redheart re-entered the room with a large needle. Okay, Fluttershy, I'm going to give you a little shot. Just... SHUT! Fluttershy tried to flee from her hospital bed, but her large belly prevented her from sitting up. Fluttershy, calm down! It's just a shot! No! Needles! Poking! Scary! Fluttershy, you can either take the shot like a big girl, or I'm gonna have to hold you down like a little girl, and then they're gonna inject it. Which one do you want? Um... The second one? Rainbow shrugged and proceeded to tie her friend's hooves to the sides of the bed with some ponytail holders. She struggled quite a bit, but Rainbow was determined to get her the shot. No! No! No shot! No shot! Fluttershy, I'm the one who got you to the hospital, so you're gonna do things my way. You're gonna let them give you any shots that they want because these egghead doctors know what they're doing. Is that clear? Fluttershy managed to get one of her front hooves free and smacked Rainbow Dash in her other eye. Dash, I'm so sorry. I don't know what came over me. I- ah! That wasn't so bad, was it? Fluttershy calmed down a bit and realized that it wasn't so bad after all, even though she didn't know the intended effect of the injection. Now, just one more shot, dearie. Just get it out of the way. She held up an even larger needle that looked like it would hurt a lot more than the first one. No! No shot! No shot! Rainbow Dash restrained her free hoof and held her down the best she possibly could. Next time! Relax, dear. This is the last shot. No more after this one. Tears welled up in Fluttershy's eyes as the overwhelming pain of the needle coursed through her, hitting her in the lower spine this time. Fortunately, that pain lasted only for a second, and Nurse Redheart even added a fun little animal bandage where she jabbed her with the needle. Silent tears ran down her eyes as she recovered from the pain. It's okay. It's okay. Want a lolly? Rainbow Dash untied her so she could enjoy her lollipop. The sweet taste of the candy on her tongue made her feel a tiny bit better, but not that much. The doctor will be in with you in just a minute, honey. You just try to stay calm. Um, nurse, what did those shots do? Well, the first one is a paralyzer. You won't be able to feel anything from the waist down. Makes childbirth easier. The numbing started in her pelvis, then moved down to her hooves until she couldn't feel them at all. And the second one was just for pain. We want to make it as least difficult as possible for you to bring your little bundle of joy into the world. Fluttershy smiled as she licked her lollipop some more. Looks like the girls learned something about childbirth. Stick around and maybe you learn something too. Hey, hey, hey! 